Hey guys, Cameron Blagan here, coming to you with a, another video. Uh, this is going to be uh, a little tutorial on how to replace um, specifically the motors on the uh, U42W Blue J here um, from UDI RC um, through Force One RC. And this is just going to be a, a quick little tutorial on how uh, to replace a uh, solder motor. Uh, and so what I mean by that is it's a motor that you don't just unplug um, like the HD Plus or the uh, H or the uh, UDI FPV drone. Th these motors uh, require soldering and desoldering uh, with a uh, soldering iron. So you're going to need one of those uh, first off. This is a, a nicer one, but you can buy a cheap one from uh, like uh, Radio Shack or uh, one of those type stores or a hobby store for sure. Um, so. Every model is going to be different for disassembly. I'm going to be specific to the Blue Jade here, um, but if you're on another model, uh, you can probably figure out how to disassemble it yourself. Um, so the Blue Jade uh, just has three screws per arm um, and obviously four arms. So you're just going to uh, unscrew here, here, and here. You can see it's the same on all the arms. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and when you're doing this, make sure uh, you do not have a battery in the slot. Uh, if you do and it gets turned on, uh, when you're working with electronics, it could uh, be a little bit dangerous, so you're going to want to be careful with that um, while you are working on your drone at all. Frankly, doing anything but flying, you're not going to want your battery in there, and especially not plugged up. So I'm going to go ahead and take that apart. I'll speed it up here and get back to you when I'm done. Uh, you're also going to have to, um, I forgot about these ones to mention originally, there's uh, four screws on the inside hole um, on these four corners here uh, to further hold the drone together, which is good. They do that, uh, but four more screws you got to take apart. Um, you can also see uh, these are some really small screws, so make sure you keep track of them. Um, I, if possible, uh, make sure you uh, either keep them partially screwed in uh, to the body of the drone, or you get like a little magnet or something to set them on so you don't lose them. All right, I'll get back to you once I get these four unscrewed now. So once you get uh, all those screws out, you're also going to want to take off the propellers. And if you have seen my propeller replacement video using this exact drone, you'll see uh, you take off the propeller and then there's a little screw in there. Um, again, I have my little piles here. You're going to want to make sure to keep these separate because they are different lengths. All right, so I got all the propellers off, and uh, you're going to want to keep them uh, separate. The nice part about these is you can just keep the screws inside them, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if You can just keep them in there so you uh, don't forget which screw's which. Uh, so now when you're pulling the shell off, you might it, it's not going to just pop off because these things are clipped together more than just uh, the screws and propellers because they are a very high quality uh, product here. So they've got these little clips, um, and they're kind of hard to see. I'll try to zoom in here. Um, but they've got these tiny kind of clip things, uh, you can see the two little teeth um, that they grab onto each side of the shell. So on the arm what you're going to want to do is peel up the very end using your nail uh, or something like that and then you're going to want to squeeze the arm right here, kind of the skinny spot, just in a little bit and pull up and just kind of pop uh, those little clips gently and then you will have the whole drone uh, disassembled just like that. So now you've got the guts of the drone, and while it may look scary, uh, don't worry, it's actually simpler than it looks. Um, and the only things we're going to be worrying about are the motors. Um, so what you're going to want to do um, is, uh, first you're going to want to figure out which motor is broken. Uh, if you don't know already, you'll probably be able to tell uh, by, if you spin, if you can see there, if you spin the motor spindle uh, like this, and you can see this is very smooth, I spin it, there's no resistance, if you spin it and it goes <laughs> or it doesn't spin at all, or it's you know really resistant there, uh, or that motor simply doesn't spin uh, and there's nothing lodged in the gears. Uh, that's another good check. Check for stuff uh, in the gears. Uh, you can generally see that from the outside, but maybe there might be little rockers on the inside preventing spinning. So if that's the case, what you're going to want to do um, is identify the motor. So we are going to pretend like we are replacing this motor. So you can see the one little set screw there. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just take that one screw out. Okay, so there's another screw. Uh, again, if you have a little magnet pad, that might be a good thing to put that on. So now this little casing uh, will come off. So what you're going to want to do is uh, use a screwdriver or your fingernail or something, and you're just going to want to put uh, something underneath this little piece where the screw just was and just pull up on uh, the end of it right over here and just pop it up. Uh, and then once it's popped, you can 
uh, pull it out just like this and be careful again of the wires because you don't want to break any of those uh, and so that'll just pull off uh, of the little rod there and then you are at this stage so now at this stage would be a uh, good time or even before that to uh, desolder um, these pads here uh, to get the wires out of this uh, part right here uh, I'm going to go ahead and desolder that um, you're going to want to uh, make sure you get the correct wires you're just going to follow these wires down all the way to the board. So you'll notice that the black and white wires are counterclockwise, um, while the blue and red wires are clockwise. Uh, so that's one indicator. Um, you can also just use the shell um, and kind of remember where they are. There's little markings here where uh, what direction they spin, um, and as well as on the propellers before you take those off. And there's a letter you can match to a propeller, uh, which will give you another hint there. So I'm going to go ahead and desolder this. Uh, if you just bought a soldering iron and you've never soldered before, it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I often wear safety glasses when I'm taking off um, solder because as you're pulling, a little bit of the solder could splatter, which is, again, nothing to be afraid of, uh, but it is a safety precaution you might want to take. Okay, so again, I followed the wires and I found that they are these uh, black and white. Um, and it looks like the black is going to be closest uh, to the arm. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a little dot over here, reminding myself that the black uh, wire goes closest to that side. If you can just remember it, that's great. Uh, if you are worried about it or want to be sure, that's always a good thing to do. So then, again, if you've, this is the first time soldering, what you're going to do is just get a nice grip on the wire and the drone so the drone doesn't slip away either. You're going to want to take your soldering tip, give the wire a gentle tug, and you're just going to barely set that soldering iron on there until it melts and it'll pop right off, okay? And you're going to do the same thing with the next one, and you might want to smooth out that pad a little bit. Uh, just get the uh, goop kind of into a nicer looking pile, and then again, same thing there, it just pops right off. Uh, you don't want to yank it by the wires. What you want to do is come underneath, and this gear does not have to come off. Uh, the little gear there, but you're just going to push that gear actually, it kind of gives you a nice surface to push, and then push it up until this comes out enough to just pop out. Boop! Just like that. Alright, so now your motor is out. So now I'm just going to do this exact same thing in reverse uh, for replacing your new motor. Um, and you'll notice um, that these motors are magnetic. Uh, so if you get a screw on there, uh, make sure when you're putting it in you don't have any of those because you do not really want to lose uh, any screws in your drone, wonder where they went and they're stuck to the motor. Had that happened before. Uh, so got to be careful with that. Alright, so we're going to just do this process now in reverse. So I'm just putting this in and I'm pushing it down and you don't have to push down super hard uh, because you do want to make sure that this motor is mated up uh, with the gear, the littler gear um, meeting this bigger gear with the bigger gear about right in the middle of the little one. So now your wires are going to come through uh, this little side over here and then they're going to poke out uh, this bigger side and that uh, just keeps it out of the way of the screw uh, for when you put that in uh, but it keeps it in line uh, which is really a, kind of a smart little... Okay so now we're going to place it back on the arm so you'll see this little uh, kind of plastic pin sticking up um, and then the hole right there uh, so those two match together so you're going to want to stick that right on there gently so you don't want to ruin it, it'll go through one uh, it'll go through pretty fast once you get it you will have to kind of line it up once you uh, get it through, there we go all the way and again these wires are kept out of the way uh, you're going to want to look down here make sure that it looks like it's about the same depth as the other arms uh, so that compared to that uh, looks the same to me uh, you know just give it a firm push it doesn't have to be down there really hard uh, but give it a firm push and then we're going to take this screw now uh, that we took out earlier and this is the one with the kind of weird uh, flat head part on it uh, sorry it's a little small uh, but it's got kind of a built-in washer and you can kind of screw it in with your fingers there and then just go ahead and screw in uh, that right there again. Perfect. 
So now you've got these two wires uh, left and we're just going to re-solder them and I made my little dot uh, so I don't forget where it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and re-solder that and uh, again I would recommend safety glasses uh, for you keeping for keeping your eyeballs safe uh, while you're doing stuff like this uh, but a little less dangerous soldering on rather than uh, the soldering off. Put the black down on the pad and you just push them together until you see the uh, pre the solder that's already on there melt and then you remove it. It's a really fast uh, motion if you've never done this before. Uh, I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit closer so you can have a little bit closer look at this. So now I'm going to just go ahead and do the white on here. And again you just push it on there until you see it melt. Pull off and you are good. Uh, so I'm not going to uh, bother you guys with putting the shell back on uh, because that is fairly easy you just put it back on uh, if you wonder about how this was uh, again like a little sticker or some sort of marking on there like I did on the circuit board would be a good way to do that uh, or you can just look at the box and it will show you that this is the way it's supposed to go and again if you haven't watched my propeller video you can watch that uh, for more info on how to uh, replace the propellers back on here this has been a video on solder type motors and how to replace them, uh, take them out and put them back on. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and we would be happy to answer them. Thanks guys and see you again in another video.